Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today's video came as a bit of a surprise to me. This morning I was just chilling and my buddy Jake hit me up and said, look what I just found in my front yard and I'll show the pictures right now. Those as you can see are two baby turtles. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of turtles they are yet. We'll find that out later. But he said he wasn't keeping them and I want them. So I'm on my way over there right now and I'm gonna set up a little enclosure for them. So yeah. Super excited. We're gonna have two new turtles and I'll let you know when we're at his house, which will be in like two minutes. Oh man, oh my gosh, they're tiny. I thought they were a little bigger than that. Guys, oh my god, that is crazy. All right, I'll get my bucket out. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what they are. I think they actually are box turtles. Really? Yeah, that's what they looked like. I looked up some pictures. Cause they have these like lighter spots. Man, they're small. Oh my gosh. Jeez. All right. Where are you gonna put them right now, anything? I'm gonna set up that little uh, college dorm turtle tub for them. Well, you guys saw it there first. I think they're box turtles. That's what they look like. They have really round shells. And that's the only kind of turtle that I've seen like in the wild in this area. So I'm gonna say they're box turtles. Let me know if they are. I'll give you another look at them when we get home and we're gonna start setting up an enclosure for these guys. All right, so I'm back home. I got the baby turtles right here and I just went ahead and brought up this tub. This is what I used when I brought Sheldon down to college. This is what they're gonna be staying in for now. It is obviously plenty big enough. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and then I'm going to rinse out some gravel. All right, so I just rinsed down this tub. And I'm going to move the turtles into that tub for a second because I'm gonna use this bucket to rinse out some gravel. This is the gravel I'm gonna use. It's nice and big, so we don't have to worry about it getting eaten. And yeah, let's go rinse this out. All right, so the gravel has been rinsed and I went ahead and moved the tub into my room. And I also cleared off my dresser. This is the only spot in my entire room that I have room for another enclosure. So I'm gonna put the tub up there. I'm now going to take the turtles out of the tub so I don't crush them with the gravel. I'll just set them over here. I'm now going to dump in the gravel. I'm gonna put the turtles back in this bucket so they don't run away. <laughs> All right. All right, so I just went out and collected some mulch. I'm gonna put that on about half of the tub. These box turtles aren't exactly aquatic turtles, but they do like to be in the water. I don't think they can really swim very well. So I'm gonna have real shallow water on one side and then mulch on the other side. All right, so I actually also had this extra thing of aquarium gravel, and I'm gonna have this under the mulch just to give it some more elevation. This is not gonna be exposed, so we don't have to worry about the turtles eating it. I'm now gonna add in the mulch. There we go. I'm actually gonna flip this thing around. There we go. And now I'm gonna start filling it with water. We'll do about one more pitcher. And that should be good. We don't want it to be too deep because I don't know how good swimmers they are. I've got a plant in this little water dish, but it's actually gonna be used as a food dish. Put the plant back here. I'll do the food bowl like right here. Actually, I'll do the food bowl in here. I just set up the lamp and I believe that's it. Now, let's go ahead and put our turtles in their new home. Here we go, first guy. Put him a little bit in the water. And, and there they are. We'll give them a little bit to adjust to their new home. I'm also going to put some fruits and vegetables in their little dish and I'll check in with these guys in a little bit. Well, they ditched the food and they're heading straight towards that little plant that I put in there. And that is why I put it in there because they need a hiding spot and I'm probably eventually gonna put another little shelter cover thing in here, but that plant is all I have right now. And uh, as for the water, it's too shallow to have a filter, so I'll just change it out every couple days. But yeah, for now, they're just exploring, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I just came in here to check on the turtles, and as you can see there, one of them decided to go for a little swim, and then the other one 
Just came out from hiding in that plant. Guys, it's the next morning, and it looks like one of them is basking. That's awesome. And the other one took a little morning swim. They spent most of the night yesterday hiding in that plant. Yeah, now they're out and about. Oh, come on, do it, do it, do it. Yes, I just dropped in a night crawler because I didn't think they were eating the lettuce and carrots. I looked up that they like eating night crawlers as babies. Come on, you get some too. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, they're playing tug of war. Dang, they're ripping that thing apart. Oh, he got his own little piece off. <laughs> oh, there you go. They both got like the same amount. All right, so I've now had these turtles for about two weeks, and there's just a few things I wanna talk about before I end this video. Right off the bat, you can actually see some vegetation growing in there. I did get this mulch from outside of my house, so I guess I picked up some weeds or whatever. I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. There's one of the box turtles right there. One thing they like to do is actually bury themselves, like this one over here is doing. They just kinda of burrow themselves into the mulch. And pretty much every morning, whenever I turn the light on after I wake up, they're almost always in the water taking a little morning swim. And the thing with box turtles is that they aren't exactly good at swimming, but they still do like being in the water. So if you are setting up a box turtle enclosure for yourself, I recommend having like a little shallow area where they can just like hang out in the water. A few other things, aside from those first two or three days of me trying to feed them vegetables, I've been feeding them night crawlers. You saw them eat the night crawlers earlier in this video, but now I've actually been splitting the night crawler in half so they don't have to fight over it. They each get their own equal part. So that's been helping a lot. And one last thing, right now I only have a heat bulb in here. Box turtles do need heat and UVB, kind of like what I have on my actual turtle tank, but I have not yet gotten them a UVB bulb. I'm actually gonna be setting up a little outdoor enclosure for these guys. So when that happens, they won't need any lamps. They'll just get their natural sunlight. But yeah, box turtles are doing good. Drop some names for them down in the comments. I'm thinking like a duo name. Today's comment of the day goes out to, it took us three days to make that potato salad. What? The names lately have been weird. No offense, but anyway, this looks so good. It looks like a professionally done landscaping project. I can't wait to see what you end up putting in the pond. Thank you. I do appreciate that. And we're going to be adding animals to the pond very soon. Stay tuned. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Sir, you have a bike lane. All right, there you go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he was cruising down the middle of the road.